You tell me when? And, uh, yeah. Okay. My name is Alejandra Marquez Abella. I'm the director of Semana Santa. Semana Santa is about a mother that takes her son to a vacation with her new boyfriend during the Semana Santa. It's a film about creating a new family, building a family. And I was born, I, I grew up in a family most uh, with that trouble. Um, I lost my mother when I was very young and my father used to take us, my brother and me, on vacation the whole time in order to, you know, make, make us happy. And I, I'm pretty fascinated by this, uh, by the idea of these places that are built to bring pleasure and fun and, you know, to make people happy. And you're kind of like obliged to be happy in those places and when you're not this feeling of like, like a sweet and sour feeling is created and I'm, I, I love that. The film has a Catholic background and it's uh, and to me it works in a sense of, of telling people what they should be doing you know what's, what's to be good and what's to be bad. The film uh, Originally on the script, it was divided in, into four chapters. Jueves Santo, Viernes Santo, Sábado de Gloria y Domingo de Resurrección, which was like a, a little bit too much. It was como completely literal and I didn't want to be that obvious. Mexico is big on Catholicism and I think that contributes to make people's lives more difficult and less free. I also wanted to talk about women now and, and the women of my generation that I think have many problems with, see, with seeing themselves as, as mothers and as like grown women. We live in this perpetual adolescence and I wanted to talk about that. This is a character that she's comfortable being a daughter not a mother. Since I didn't have a mother, I was able to, to build this character, this fictional character that whose trait was to be distant and cold. I had that ability, you know. Uh, but in the process of making the film, I got pregnant and I had a kid. So I lived motherhood from a different side. And so I think that made the work with the actress and uh, it changed the character a bit. I don't know if I would do that again in my life because it's very difficult to, to, to handle parallel stories. I, I didn't know that that was such a, like a difficult thing to do because you know you write a script and it flows very well but when you're editing the film you have to find like the exact pace in which you cut one story and you go to the other and then the other because it can feel like really slow and you can or just like be pretty much confusing and so it was a challenge to me. Well, I wanted music to be another cinematographic element that helped me tell this story. I didn't want to use music as a like as a, an aesthetic. I wanted it to, to have a sense huh? and to be like uh, in in line with the with what was happening with the characters. We tried to do that also with the camera, and the direction was to f to free the camera as the characters are freeing themselves. Every time I watch the film, that is a, a like a like a very emotional moment to me because it takes me, it's like beyond me, you know, it's out of my control. I, don't, I can't handle it very well still, it's like so loud and so, I don't know, but it was, that was the intention, no? to like blow you up. It seems to be like a comforting ending, but I'm not that sure. To me, it has another, another feeling and another direction. I think it changes them what they experience in these days forever and things will never be the same again.